Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with an extreme clean with me if you will. It is the day before New Year's Eve and my house is a hot mess. We have just been enjoying living here It's kind of taking it easy. I didn't do a whole lot of cleaning as you can see. Either did anybody else. In their defense I did tell them just to leave it that I was going to film but I am here today to get the house ready. We're having Danny's parents and his brother with his family and his sister over to our house for New Year's Eve. So this is actually going to be a two-part video. You're going to see a lot of cleaning in today's video and then in the next one it's going to be cooking and party prep. So I hope you're here for it. Grab a snack. This one is a little bit long. I hope you stay with me. Let's get into it. Starting off with dishes primarily because the counters are covered in them and so was the sink. I do hand wash a lot of things. For example, I never put my pots and pans in the dishwasher and I don't put my knives in the dishwasher and depending on the cutting board or the serving dish if you will I decide whether or not I'm going to wash it but for the most part the rest of everything goes into the dishwasher and I have made a vow with this new dishwasher that I'm not going to rinse my dishes so we are just scraping and putting them in and a friend of mine said I promise they'll get clean I wanted to call her bluff but she was 100% right. They have been spotless every time I take them out. It does take a little bit longer, but it's okay. I'm down for it. It's saving water, even though now we have a well and we're not paying for it, but it still saves water and I don't know, time, I guess. But now you're just going to watch me scrub these clean and we will move forward away from the dishes. There's so many dishes in today's video. I'm so sorry. My sink is giant now. So you know, there's a lot of us <laughs> and before the sink would get full really quickly because there's a lot of us and we had a little sink, but now we have this big one basin sink. It's giant. So much stuff goes in there. You guys off camera, I cleaned my entire trash can inside of this sink in this during this time. I don't know why I didn't film it, but I cleaned the entire trash can in the sink and it fit perfectly. So because we have this bigger sink now, there's just a heck of a lot more dishes in there. So it took me a long time to get the dishes clean, but we get there.
Sorry, it's still with me. <laughs> I don't know if you enjoy watching dishes be washed. I don't mind watching them get clean. I just don't enjoy cleaning them, especially since we got well water. It's so harsh. My hands are already cracking. This morning I went on Amazon and ordered some uh, gloves because my cuticles are a hot mess. I've got two cracks on my fingers. This is just not gonna fly. I also need to get some water softeners for our shower heads because this water is no joke. I thought our water in Vegas was hard, but this is serious. So I am not enjoying washing dishes. I never did, but I'm especially not enjoying it now. But I'm just taking some time to put the dishes away so that we can move on. I mean, honestly, 85% of the mess in the kitchen was the dishes. So it took me over an hour to get this kitchen clean. What was I thinking? When I was unpacking the kitchen, I tried really hard to be extremely strategic about where I put the dishes and the pots and pans. I tried to keep our everyday dishes and glasses literally right across from where the dishwasher is. And then the pots and pans and the serving dishes are just to the right of the oven. And I don't know, I just feel like that made the most sense. I am planning on filming a kitchen organization video so you guys can see exactly how I have everything organized. I want to do it now because everything is clean and fresh and organized, <laughs> but um, I tried really hard to be smart about where I put everything. The other thing too was that when we designed this house, we specifically designed this pantry to keep a lot of our small appliances in it. So for example, our microwave is right there in front of me on the pantry. We have plugs in there, the toasters in there. I was just putting the rice cooker away. We keep everything else in there. The waffle iron, the griddle, the George Foreman. Um, we put everything else in there. This drawer is directly across from the dishwasher like I was saying and right above it as you're about to see is where we keep our utensils and that has just been super helpful. I just open the dishwasher, open the drawer and literally transfer them from one to the other. song is perfect for this scene <laughs> I feel right now I am just putting some coffee grounds into a container we have been grinding up our own espresso and making it in the morning Danny bought me that espresso machine for my birthday so that's what I'm doing there I just was grounding up some dark roast Starbucks espresso it's actually pretty cheap I think it's like $12.95 so that's what I was doing. I try to do it the night before because it's really loud. <laughs> so if I do it the night before, then it's just ready to go. And I'm going to just clean up this section over here. Again, those are cutting boards and knives. I just keep finding more dishes everywhere. I'm gonna hand wash all of that. And then we're gonna get these counters cleaned. want to take a second and give some love to this gas range it's been a really long time since we have cooked on a gra glass range glass I actually meant gas 
uh, at our in-laws house we were cooking on an electric range which I had never done before I had to get used to it and I never did it is so hard to cook on it you can't sear anything and then turn down the heat because it just holds on to it so I was super super happy to be back to gas I don't know if I mentioned that in a previous video I think I might have but I'm so excited about it we gonna say it again
It was a gloriously cloudy and foggy day when I was doing all of this cleaning. That's why it seems so dark, but it just seemed like a perfect day for some coffee. So I'm gonna make a mid-afternoon cup of coffee. coffee bar area is actually really really glorious I love having this little spot it's in between the dining room and kitchen and our bedroom and it's super fun I'm showing you this 30 second dance party that was a gift I got from one of my students and you guys it is hands down the coolest gift I have ever had super fun you press a button it plays some crazy loud house music for 30 seconds it's a great way to change the mood in your house but Anyway, this coffee bar area is wonderful. It's a little bit lower than a regular counter would be because it's desk height because we put in this big window. This window was not in our plans originally in the blueprints, but we wanted as much light down here as possible. Added the goosenecks and the uh, beautiful shelf just for some decor, but this is where we will pop out and make our espresso in the morning and our coffee, and I love this area so much. I need to film this area. I had filmed a decorate with me, but then I hated the way it turned out, so I will probably film another one. This is not how I want it. It is decorated right now for Christmas. We don't take our Christmas decorations down until after January 6th, but um, when I do redecorate it, I think I'm gonna film that for you guys.
right, it's time for my favorite room in the house, the family room. I love this space. It is so cozy and comfortable. I love just lounging in here with my family and it's just so wonderful to have like this space again um, and to have the cats with us. I have four crazy cats. It's a, <laughs> a crazy story. Uh, that's two of them there. There's two others hiding. I don't know if they make an appearance. And then I do have one crazy Chawini. So she is a Dachshund and Chihuahua mix. And then we also have a lizard. Um, a bearded dragon that he belongs to my son my oldest son but um, I'm just gonna take a second here to kind of fix up the blankets right now we have a lot for Christmas that are out normally it's not you know decorated like this but um, if you saw my last video which was the family room video we had moved things around a little bit to fit the Christmas tree in there as well so I just love the space I especially love it right now with the Christmas tree in there I don't know that Christmas tree may be up until February who knows Finally, we're just moving into the front section of the house. I'm just gonna wipe down the powder room and then we're gonna clean up the laundry room as well. This is actually the first time besides when we first moved in that I'm cleaning the powder room. Granted, it's only been a week, <laughs> but this is the first time that I'm like doing weekly cleaning to it. So um, if you did not see the entryway video, then I just wanna talk about this vanity for a second because y'all, I am so proud of this thing. We purchased an antique dresser. For, it was actually like an antique washing bin um, and we redid it. Uh, I painted it and then we took off the top and we bought a remnant piece, a quartz remnant piece, and they cut it to match the original piece. And then we put that vessel sink on top. And you guys, I just love it. Not only is it just unique, it's just so pretty. And I love the vintage feel that it brings. It's so farmhousey. Um, and I've mentioned in my video before, the vibe I'm going for is vintage um, farmhouse romantic, I think farmhouse romance I don't know but <laughs> tell me if you get that vibe from my house cozy and farmhouse and kind of vintagey I don't like anything that feels too modern besides modern 
things like toilets <laughs> and brand new floors and things like that. But other than that, I want it to feel lived in and warm and comfortable. And I want people to feel like they can just kick back when they're here. So anyway, that is the story behind that vanity. I love it. I hope you do too. Let me know your thoughts down below. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a glorious New Year's Eve and a happy new year. Here is to a better, I don't know, 2022, I guess here's to hoping, huh? I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you're subscribed to come back for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, we'll see you soon, bye.